Okay, welcome to Introduction to Polynomials. We're going to look a lot this unit. This is section 7.5 in your book. Okay. Polynomials are terms that are added or subtracted. Um, sometimes there's just one term in a polynomial. Let me show you what is not a polynomial. Okay. An expression is not a polynomial if it has any negative exponents. Here's an example of a negative exponent right here. Not a polynomial. So go ahead and circle all the negative exponents. Okay. There cannot be a variable in the denominator. Here's an example of a variable in the denominator. It makes this expression not a polynomial. Go ahead and draw a square over all of the variables that are in denominators that make these are no-nos. Okay. Can't have an exponent that is a variable. So here's an example of an exponent. Three's exponent is x, and that's a variable. Can't have a cannot have a exponent that's a variable. So that's a no-no. And you'll notice that for in all in my polynomials, all of my exponents are whole numbers. Now I can have a coefficient that's a fraction. That's no big deal. I can have a coefficient that's negative. No big deal. But I can't, but all of my exponents have to be whole numbers. Now, a monomial is an, either a number, like this, or a variable, like this, or, you, uh, or a product of a number and a variable with whole number exponents. Here's an example of a variable raised to an exponent. It's a number you can't see. It is 1. Here's an example of a product of a number and a variable raised to a whole number exponent. These are examples of monomials. You can see this is just one term because the word mono means 1. A polynomial is either a monomial or it's the sum or difference of monomials. We're going to call those terms. Okay. So let me see how many terms are in my first polynomial. I've got one, two, three terms. And the next one I have one, two, three terms. Oh, sorry, three there. And this last one, how many terms do I have? How many different monomials or terms are being added or subtracted? Oh, just one. This is a polynomial with just one term. It's going to be important to know how to count the terms when we classify. Okay, we'll skip over that. Okay. The degree of a monomial is just the sum of the exponents in the monomial. So we're looking at just one uh, a polynomial that just has one term. And in order to determine its degree, I just add up its exponents. This is simple. So I'm going to add up my exponents. My exponents are 2 and 3. So 2 plus 3 is 5. And the degree of this monomial is 5. I want the whole test on this stuff. This is great. OK. Let's find the degree of this monomial. I'm going to add up its exponents. 2 plus 8 is 10. So my answer is 10. Pause me and figure out the rest. Just remember that if an exponent doesn't have a, um, excuse me, if a variable doesn't have an exponent, you can consider it having an exponent of 1. Okay, the degree of a polynomial is the degree of the term with the greatest degree. So all I need to do is I just figure out the degree of each term. And remember, there's two terms here, 1 and 2. And I pick the term which has the greatest degree, and I use that degree for the whole polynomial. So the first term has a degree of 5. The second term has a degree of 7, just adding the exponents. Guess what? He wins. And so the degree of this polynomial is 7. 7 is larger than 5. Let's find the degree of our examples. His degree is 10, because 2 plus 8 is 10. His degree is 9, because it's the only exponent in there. And um, 10 is larger than 9, so my degree is 10. Pause and find the rest. OK. Now, the standard form of a polynomial is written with the terms in order from the greatest degree to the least degree, which means I've got to figure out what the degrees are for each term. Um, and then I just need to rearrange it 
so that it's an order from the greatest degree to the least degree. Now, you can only rearrange terms if they're added. Remember, addition is commutative, but subtraction is not. I can't change the order of subtraction. So I'm going to fix this by leave chain changing all my subtraction, turning it into addition. So I now have plus negative 6x, and now I can rearrange the order. It's commutative. So finding the degree of each term. The degree of my first term is 2, of my second term is 0, the degree of a constant is 0, the degree of my third term is 1, remember he just got an exponent of 1, and the degree of my fourth term is 3, just adding up the exponents of each term. Let me see, so now I'm going to um, find the one that has the greatest degree, and here we go, so I'm looking for this term, I'm going to put him first. And the next one I'm going to put is on the next highest degree, which is 2. And the one with the next highest degree, which is 1. I'm going to get the negative, six to get, the negative together. And then the last one will be 3. So now it's written in standard form. What I want you to see once it's written in standard form is the coefficient of the first term Remember, this is my first term, it has a special name. The coefficient of this first term is called the leading coefficient. You can pause this and look at it if you'd like. Okay, my leading coefficient is 2. Leading coefficient is the coefficient of the first term of a polynomial that's written in standard form. So I'm going to write each polynomial in standard form and give the leading coefficient. Let's try one together. So let's figure out the degree of each term. Uh, first of all, is it all leave chain changed? Oh, no. My leave chain changed. Oh, it's plus negative 6. So his degree is 2, and his degree is 4. His degree is 1, and his degree is 0. The degree of a constant is 0. So my largest degree is 4, so I'm going to write that term first, plus my next largest degree is this one, so I'm going to write negative 3x squared. My next degree is this one, which is plus negative 6x, and my next degree is that one, plus 2. Looking for the leading coefficient, I'm looking for the coefficient of the first term. I'm going to find the coefficient of this term. It doesn't have a coefficient. Oh, yes, he does. Remember, there's an imaginary 1 there. So my leading coefficient is 1. Okay. Pause me and do the rest. Okay. Now, polynomials are classified by their degree and the number of terms. So once I've determined what the degree is of that polynomial, remember, it's, it's the term with the highest degree that wins. And if I can count the number of terms, then I can classify my polynomial. So pause me and write down these words. Okay. If it's of degree 0, I'll just read it to you. I'll tell you the names of the words constant. Degree 1 is linear. Degree 2 is quadratic. Degree 3 is cubic. Degree 4 is quartic. Degree 5 is quintic. And degree 6 is sixth degree. My terms, if it has one term, it's called a monomial. Remember, mono means one. If it has two terms, it's a binomial. Bi means two. If it's three terms, it's a trinomial. Tri means three. And if it's four terms, it's a polynomial. Poly means many. Let's try our look at classifying these. These are written in standard form. My highest degree is Three, so this is a polynomial of the third degree. And so it's going to be cubic. Now I've got to count the number of terms. One, two. So that's a binomial. So I'm going to write this a cubic binomial. My highest degree is six. So I just write that as a sixth degree. Uh, sixth degree what? Let me see. I've got one, two, three, four terms. And that's, uh, let's say, sixth degree. Okay. 
polynomial. So what is my degree for this monomial? Oh, oh excuse me, I already gave you the answer. The degree is 1. Okay, it's linear. There's only one term. So it's a monomial. This is a linear monomial. Use the chart to answer the rest of your, um, your chart. And remember to identify the leading coefficient, which means that that polynomial has to be written in standard form, which you want to do anyway to figure out the largest degree. And there you go. I'll see you in class.